Many people know that black holes are objects in the space that absorb objects irreversibly with no possibility of recovery. However, what if we were told that we were actually living inside a black hole? We follow one of today's most prominent scientists in Shaku as we reveal this shocking truth. Our existence occurs inside a supermassive black hole. Plus, he discusses new images from the James Webb Space Telescope that contradict the erroneous Big Bang Theory. Join us to see what M. Kaku has to tell us as we explore these exciting new images made by the James Webb Space Telescope that contradicted Big Bang Theory. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. Have you ever believed something for a long time and then realized it wasn't true? You probably don't mention the Big Bang as it's a pretty popular explanation for how we got here. However, with the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, the Big Bang theory is being challenged. James Webb has made observations that are forcing astronomers to reconsider their ideas about the origins of the universe. Theoretical physicist Miss Yukaku describes the latest shocking discoveries from the JWST this way. The problem is that the James Webb Space Telescope is shaking the established foundations. Suddenly we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks of the origin of the universe. What is the latest accurate JWST discovery that has led eminent scientists to rethink the origin of the universe? Here's a revelation. JWST has identified six galaxies that exist a billion years after the Big Bang and ten times larger than the Milky Way galaxy. This is astonishing since it normally takes billions of years to create a galaxy like ours with hundreds of billions of stars. The James Webb Space Telescope is challenging our preconceptions and making scientists reconsider the origin of the universe. However, the question arises, why did the discovery of these six large galaxies contradict the conventional description of the origin of the universe? These galaxies should be no larger than the Milky Way galaxy, which is only 500 million years old. Something doesn't add up, and perhaps we need to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. The galaxies mentioned by Michio Kaku, which contain hundreds of billions of stars, arose when the universe was only 500 to 700 million years old. This is significantly earlier and faster than expected from current models of formation, which suggests that things gradually clump together over time. The enigma of how these galaxies form so quickly may require a new understanding of physics or new techniques to explain their creation. The discovery of these challenging galaxies was made by a team of astronomers led by Evely of Melbourne University of Technology in Australia using the first JWST photos released in July 2022. The captured images of a patch of sky 100 times smaller than the full moon. These images were obtained with the NearCam camera, one of the JWST's four main instruments. This camera makes it possible to observe objects at infrared wavelengths stretched due to the expansion of the universe that are invisible to other telescopes because of their vastness and remoteness. The researchers discovered about a TH exceptional bright and red objects in these NearCam images. They used a technique called photometric redshift estimation to calculate the distance between each object based on how much light has been redshifted due to cosmic expansion. Six of these objects showed extremely high redshifts between 9.5 and 11.5. This implies that their light is just over 700 million years old compared to the most distant confirmed galaxy, which has a redshift of 11.1 and was discovered in 2016 by the Hubble Space Telescope. Using stellar evolution models, the scientists calculated how many stars each of these galaxies would need to emit all their light. They found that the stellar masses of these six galaxies range from 10 to 100 billion times the mass of our Sun. This is comparable to or even greater than the mass of our own Milky Way galaxy, which contains approximately 60 billion stars and has had more than 13 billion years to grow. These findings are surprising and puzzling for several reasons. First, they imply that these galaxies originated rapidly and efficiently in a short period of time, transforming most of their available gas into stars. This contrasts with a conventional view of galaxy formation, which predicts that galaxies start small and gradually grow by merging with other galaxies or by accreting gas from their surroundings. Second, these observations contradict cosmological theories based on the study of the cosmic microwave background of the Big Bang which indicate that these galaxies have more disorder than what was accessible in their regions of space at the time. Third, the fact that these galaxies have already produced large numbers of old red stars implies that they have undergone numerous generations of star formation and chemical enrichment. This raises questions about how stars arise and grow in a pristine environment. 
One possibility is that the measurements or assumptions on which these observations are based on are incorrect. It is possible that these objects are not galaxies, but rather quasars or other types of active galactic nuclei and for short powered by supermassive black holes. ANDs can appear incredibly bright and have a redshift similar to distant galaxies. However, this situation seems unlikely due to the differences in the spectra of ANDs compared to these objects. In addition, supermassive black holes take time to form, so ANDs at such high redshifts are expected to be rare. Another possibility is that there is an error in the models or theories used to interpret these observations. For example, these galaxies could have evolved through a different mechanism than we currently understand, such as direct collapse or extreme instability. These processes have the potential to produce huge galaxies in a short period of time without relying on mergers or accretion. Alternatively, these galaxies could be exceptional cases or anomalies that developed under unusual conditions or in particular regions of space, rather than being representative of the general population at the time. In this case, more observations and larger samples would be needed to validate their presence and quantify their frequency. Another option, however, is that something is wrong with our current cosmology or physics. These galaxies could provide evidence for new events or interactions that are not covered by our normal cosmological model, such as dark matter annihilation or primordial density fluctuations. These factors could influence the volume and distribution of matter in the universe, causing more mass and faster expansion in some places than in others. Alternatively, these galaxies could be evidence for additional dimensions or forces that are not included in our current models of physics, such as string theory or modified gravity. These concepts could have an impact on how light travels through space and time, altering its perceived brightness and redshift. However, these are just all theoretical possibilities that would require further research and evidence to confirm. Nevertheless, Michio Kaku has an explanation for the later discoveries involving black holes detected by the JWST. According to him, these are not baby galaxies but monstrous black holes. This idea puzzles scientists because it does not fit the normal sequence of the birth of the galaxy. Kaku suggests that these black holes could be places where new laws of physics emerge. If someone manages to figure it all out, there could be a Nobel Prize waiting for them. In addition, there is a related theory that proposes that our universe is a giant black hole. According to this theory, our universe was created by the collapse of the giant black hole into another larger cosmos. The event horizon of a black hole is a point of no return where nothing escapes its gravitational force. Within the event horizon, gravity distorts and twists spacetime, creating a singularity where density and curvature become infinite. Some scientists suggest that instead of the singularity, there could be another event horizon inside the black hole, leading to a world with different physical rules. This idea implies that our universe is nested inside a black hole, which in turn could be inside another universe. According to this hypothesis, black holes are not only one-way traps, but also portals to other domains of space and time. Although some theoretical models and mathematical calculations support this hypothesis, it has not yet been validated by observations or experiments. Currently, one of the main objectives of this theory is to answer the question of what happened before the Big Bang, which is commonly recognized as the origin of the universe. Now, what do you think? Let us know in the comments box. Remember to like the video if you liked it and subscribe so you don't miss out on more valuable content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video.